Hello, Floss Tube Land. It's Heather, the Imperfectly Perfect Stitcher. Today is Wednesday, July 18th. This is take two of this video. I literally have not even gotten up. Somehow deleted the video that I just filmed. So we're going to try again. Okay, but you're going to have to bear with me because I don't know if I'm going to say things twice, but we'll, we'll get through it. So, like I said, today's July 18th. Um, it's been a busy, busy summer. Um, this is probably the one and only floss tube you're going to see from me until my kid is back in school next month at the end of the month. Um, so you might not get another video from me until September. Um, it's just too hard. You know, I work um, two jobs, both from home. I've been doing school, which has taken up a massive amount of time. Um, and I need to keep my kids busy. So it's just been too hard to film. And I think that's okay and understandable. Um, as soon as we get back into a more regular routine of school and it's easy to film when just my little one's here because I can do it during nap time. So um, thanks for sticking with me and hanging out while I can. Um, I love my class. Um, it's just a lot of work. It's just a lot, a lot of lecture. I've been going all over town to do observations and clinicals and all kinds of things. And I asked my sister if she could watch my kids for um, a couple hours today. And she is doing me one better and taking them for the whole day so I can get some appointments done. I'm in between appointments right now. Um, so I have time to film. Yay! So my birthday was on July 2nd. Um, I was super, super duper excited about it. I don't know why. I was just, I had a lot of buildup um, to my birthday this year. And then, you know, I'm going to be 100% honest, not looking for a pity party here. Um, it kind of went largely unnoticed and unacknowledged by all of those around me. Um, my family bought me an Instapot, which is great. Um, I don't want to get into the details, but it just nobody really said or did anything for it um so i took it upon myself to buy all the things it's my birthday right um so that's what you're gonna see a lot of i have been stitching if you watched my last video it was actually a vlog style video i was doing the christmas in july sal with the addicted sisters it was a lot of fun that first week um I did learn that I don't love switching out projects a lot, um, and I am just that kind of person. I think that if I am told or put pressure on myself or feel like I have to stitch something on a certain day, I'm just not going to do it. Um, after that first week, all of my birthday hauls started coming in, and I just couldn't wait, so I started a couple of things. Um, so I don't have a ton of stitching to show you because I don't want to go through the vlog here. You can go watch it there. I will show you some updates, but I have mostly stash flash. And so I'm going to start with that. Um, and then move into the little bit of stitching I've done. And then my plans for August. And then I'll let you go. Well, you can go anytime you want, right? Okay. So haul. I'm going to start with, I got three new pieces of fabric. I think I might have gotten a couple of more. No, I did. I got four, but I'll show you one later in the, uh, later. okay. Things are a little discombobulated. It's like I said, I just filmed and kind of put everything over here and now I gotta reopen it. All right. So I am part of the job redesign fabric of the month club. I get an opalescent piece. Um, and this is my opalescent Brittany. It is a 28 count. It's kind of like this bluish purple gray color. It's really pretty. Um, my lighting is like awful. I just opened up everything in my house too to try to get better light. Oh, I'm going to do one more thing to try to get better light. Hold please. Okay, I'm back. I think that might have helped a little bit. Um, I forgot we got new curtains in our sun porch since the last time I filmed and they are really make everything really dark. So anyway, so this is my draw redesigns. design. Yeah, you can see it a little bit better. Um, super cute, super pretty. Love that. I've now got three pieces of this fabric that I don't know what I'm going to put on it. I need to find some smaller patterns, I guess, because 
apparently I like big patterns. I like big patterns and I cannot fly. Um, as you'll see. God, that helped. Ooh, lights. Let there be lights. Okay. My next, and this stash haul situation that I'm showing you, no particular order, just whatever I'm finding as I hold it out. Um, I was on Instagram and saw that Kit Kitten Stitcher, hello Teresa, had posted that she just listed a bunch of fabric, so I ran over to get one. So I got this 40 count um, linen, yeah, linen. It's called Rusty Nail. The names she chose, you guys, are awesome for her fabrics. So this is my Rusty Nail. And when we get to charts, I'll show you what's going on Rusty Nail. I love it. I love the smell of fabric. It's kind of like opening a new book. Um, yeah, reasonably priced. Um, the cool thing about her fabric is that she uses a combination of commercial and natural dyes. Um, so if you have her fabric, make sure you read her disclaimer that she sends um, because you can't um, wash it because the fabric, the dye will go away. And then this is kind of like a random thing that happens. Um, I bought this on 123Stitch. It's called Twilight Blue Linen. It's a 32 count. It was meant for... Um, a chart you'll see in a minute and it was way too dark but I still love it and I'm kind of seeing like a mirabilia or maybe thing on this or not um, I don't know what I'm going to put on it now but I'll just keep it because something will come into my life that just needs to be on this fabric and I'll know it when I know it right all right so those are the three fabrics I got I'm calling all of this my birthday haul, even though some of it was and some of it wasn't. Um, it arrived much after my birthday, but my husband did go on to my wish list on 123Stitch and picked up Barbara Anna Designs, All Creatures Great and Small. Um, I saw this on Emily C's channel. She did a fantastic, she's already finished this, a fantastic finish. I'll tell you a little secret. If Emily C. stitches it, I probably want it. Um, every, I've never, ever seen her stitch something that I'm like, mm, I'm not sure about. I love everything she chooses. She's got great taste. Um, so my rusty nail is going on this, and I think it'll be kind of cool. Um, the cool thing about Kitten Stitcher's fabrics is that they're supposed to look old and grungy and dingy, and I think it'll be kind of cool on this. I don't know. I posted on Instagram a poll, and it, should I put this chart on that fabric? Overwhelmingly, people said yes, but there were a couple of news on there, um, and I can see why, but I think it'll be fun and different, and I'm excited to get this started. I want to start every single chart I have, but probably not a grand idea right now. Um, I also got Heartstring Samplery's Coffee Quaker. Probably the last person on earth who wants to stitch this that has it. Um, I have plans to use some of my Victorian mottos and make this a bright and not um, those colors. And I don't think I made it too bright in here. I'm gonna try one more thing. You could probably see a little cutty because I keep pausing. Hang on. All right, the lighting is what it is. I'm sorry, folks. I wish I had like better lights. Anyways, so um, I need to get a piece of fabric for this. I was going to do it on one of those opalescents, but they're not big enough um, unless I do it over one. And I think that'll be too tiny for this. So there you go. Um, because I'm crazy, I bought another Heaven on Earth Designs. I love this one. I'm another floss tuber that loves things that do with the moon, um, especially because of my doula work. We pay attention to the moon a lot. Um, but I think this is so pretty. So I need to decide what I'm going to do about fabric because I will stitch this background because I'm a nut and I like to stitch backgrounds um, with dark backgrounds. I have to be very careful with what fabric I put this on so it doesn't show through. Um, I could put this on, I have a ginormous piece of 18 count, 
that I might try because there's a lot of black, obviously, but there's also just a lot of navy blues. So the coverage might not be as bad as I'm thinking it will be. Um, if not, I'm going to find a giant piece of um, like 25 count and stitch it over one, I think is my next step. I love this. It's basically, what is this called? Fairy of the Changing Moons. It's so pretty. It's dark, but it's pretty. Um, Julie over at Gulf Coast Stitches got me into a lot of trouble. No, she didn't really. Um, but I was able to snag Home for the Holidays um, by Blackbird Designs. This is a huge book. Um, it's got tons of great patterns in it, two of which I'm very interested in stitching. Give me a second, I'll show you which ones, but of course they're huge. Christmas Garden. I have no plans to start this anytime soon, but I'm going to hold on to that. And then um, the style that everybody is starting on Memorial Day. This Cardinal style. I will not start this on Memorial Day. I just want to have to get fabric. Actually, I think I have fabric that would work for this. Um, but I'm a little overwhelmed with big projects. So. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. You know me. I don't do well with plans. Yes, I still did it. I did it. Um, and the reason I did it was I think I'll enjoy stitching this and two, my mom will love this. This is not going in my house. It just doesn't fit with my decor, which I guess doesn't really matter. Um, but it will be so appreciated by my mom. I also got the embellishment pack. I've forgotten to get it the last three times I got up, but it's just a bunch of beads. So I have that ready to go. Um, I bought this twilight blue for this thinking this was going to be much lighter. It's way too dark. It's not going to work for me. Um, so I'm going to order there's another piece on 123 stitch that I think will work just fine. Um, I want, I think a nice light blue would be pretty, it would, it, you know, it would be perfect for my mom. So Thanks, Julie. I just happened to be fast enough. I happened to be online when she announced how she was going to distribute hers. Um, she announced the time. She started posting. The first 10 people got them. I was lucky. Um, it's the only one I got. I wasn't interested in the other two. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. A few more charts I got. This one I'm going to be stitching hopefully in October. Again, I need to find the fabric. Not Forgotten Farms, Thomas. This will be done for the um, turkey salad that Michelle Bendy is doing. Um, she's doing it in October so our Canadian friends can play along Thanksgiving salad. I've wanted him forever. I think he's super cute. Um, he's a lot of solid stitching. But I think that'll be good for me. Until I get out of school, I need mindless stitching. So this will be good. Then I go um sorry, phone's kinda of blown up too. Just have to make sure that I put it on silent, but you know I got kids in other places. Okay, last shirt I got um lollipop stitches enabled me. Um the Barbara Anna Black Cat Hollow. Uh, everybody started this on Friday the 13th in July, except for, well, no, that's a lie. I did start it. Um, I got about five stitches in and decided I hated the fabric. It was one of those NCG textile 32 count linens. It was so fuzzy. You couldn't even see the holes. It was uneven. Literally threw it away. Wasn't even going to deal with it. Um, so I, it's not a whip yet. Flipping around on all this stuff I have. Okay, those are all the charts I bought in the fabric. Then I did a trade with the Multi Crafty Hermit and got my very first project bag. Isn't it everything? I love this fabric. It's super cute. It's a vertical, vertical bag with the vinyl, the pink polka dots. So cute. I'll show you what's in here in a minute. Love it. And then, oh, and she sent this. This is the super cute little, I think, what I forgot what she called this, like a notions bag or something like that, scrap bag. 
Um, it's just this cute little kitty. And what I do with this is when I'm on the go and I have a piece that only has a couple of colors, which is what I take when I'm on the go, I put the bobbins and my scissors in here. So everything kind of just stays put and then I put it in the project bag. But I thought that was a cute idea. Look at that little bird fabric in there. Love that. Oh, this is like the creme de la creme. Probably one of the favorite things in my life that I own right now. I had posted on Instagram asking about project bag designers, and that's where I hooked up with Multi Crafty Hermit. We did a trade, and then Stitching and Sequins McKenna. She was like, "Hello, Emily C." Uh, so Emily C actually contacted me and asked if you know I was interested in purchasing a bag from her, um, and I said absolutely I was. Um, but you know she didn't have any up on our Facebook group, but she does custom bags for the same price. You guys. You can send her fabric, you can tell her the kind of fabric you're looking for, you can tell her the theme, and she will put together an amazing bag for you. And so I told her, I want a dark stitching, not gore, I'm not into gore, but dark stitching I'm totally into, um, surprise me. And I think that kind of threw her for a loop a little bit, so sorry Emily. Um, she's looking for a little bit more specific, but I wouldn't give it to her. So I just let her do her thing. And I wouldn't let her show it to me until it showed up on my door. And I'm so glad I did because it was the best birthday present to myself ever. Look at this thing. Oh, it's so pretty. And this pop-up color from this moth. Just, and then with these sepia tones, oh, I cannot even. She paired it perfectly. It's got this really pretty lace trim. It's perfect. The inside, she's a genius. Look at that. Look at that. Perfection. It's so well made. It's so pretty. I could, like, I just want to hold it and, like, carry it around and show it off. But I'm already a big enough freak. Don't need to do that. Inside is my last birthday present to myself and my favorite chart I own right now. Um, I've had this in my cart with the fabric from 123 Stitch for a long time. It's pretty pricey, as you'll know. Um, I was going to buy it on my birthday, and then it was like, ooh, that's a little bit more than I thought. The next day, my Etsy store sales deposited, and it was almost exactly the amount of this. So I took it as a sign and bought it. Oh, yeah. Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow. I've loved and admired this for a long time. It's mine. But not only is it mine, the suggested fabric is mine. So this is Picture This Plus, 40 count. I cannot remember the name of it to save my life. What does it say on here? Linen, Picture This Plus. That's all it says. Whatever 123 stitch one, two, three, suggests, that's what I have. Started it. This is what thwarted me from finishing. Um, this is what thwarted me from finishing the Christmas in July sale because I couldn't make this fit anywhere. <laughs> I really wanted to stitch on it. Um, yeah, that's as far as I got because one, I'm a slow stitcher, and two, I just I literally have been getting like 20 minutes a day to stitch, and so this is what happens. Um, but I cannot wait to dig in. And when the Sal with Amy Loves Toad, she's doing a Hawk Run Hollow, any Hawk Run Hollow Sal. Um, when she does that, it's going to be on. So those were all my purchases, you guys. Kind of a lot for me. Um, I need to probably not buy anything else, even though there's charts I want. Like the Dining Modernist Halloween House Sal and... I, there's just a lot of things I want, um, but don't we all? Um, I do have plenty to keep me busy. Keep me busy. What is all this? Oh. Um, so anyways, so what stitching have I been doing? I know I'm talking fast. I'm sorry. I've been talking all morning to clients, and so I'm just kind of in a talking talking mode. Um, so I apologize. So my birthday start, the one that I actually started on my birthday was 
Capsules in the Air from Long Dog Samplers. I love this. I first saw this on Michelle Mitch, Mitch Stitches channel. Um, it's like anything she stitches as well. Her and Emily, my enablers, love this. Um, but I want it to be different because I am different. So I am stitching this on. It's going to be a little bit cleaner. An 18 count opalescent fabric from Hand Dyed by Stephanie. It's called Jaded. This is as far as I've gotten. It has this double border. Um, so I'm working my way down the inside layer of the border on the first page. Once I get down, you know, I have like one more of these little pyramid ones and then there's, it's like a tree and then a little bit more and then I can start motifs. Um, I'm probably going to do as much of page completing as I can on this just to keep myself organized. Um, oh, and the thread is... Hold on, it's a week's die works. I works Blackberry. I don't know if it wants to focus or not. Um, my camera is not that fancy. Trust me, Tweaks Die works Blackberry. It's got a little bit of irrigation in it, which you can't see because my lighting is crap today. Um, but I really love stitching on this too. Like these last couple of things I've started, I really love and I can't wait to get back to. Um, but then as you'll see in a moment, I kind of got like a little bug up my butt to get some finishes um from there as i was looking through this massive box of whips they're all really big pieces right but i do have some older smaller pieces that i think i want to try to get through before the end of the year um like i said once you tell me i need to stitch something or i have a deadline to stitch something or i have to stitch something on a certain day i don't want to do it Just me. I don't want to do it. I'm still a teenager. No, you can't make me. Um, so year of whips have gone out the window. I'm pretty sure. I'm still gonna work towards some stuff, but we'll see. Um, but one of one of the smaller ish things, and I used this a lot for the Christmas in July sale, is my tiny modernist Christmas style from last year. I'm not gonna take it out of the Q snap because I kind of like it. Um, I did a couple more snowflakes right here, and then I started working on the massive house. I call this a massive house, and it's not that massive, but it's massive. Um, I even got, I don't know if you can see it, a little bit of the back stitching done in the roof. Uh, I've got two more windows to complete, and then just fill in with red. I think once I get past this, I'll feel a little bit more motivated. Um, I burnt myself out, because like I said, I can only stitch for like 20, 30 minutes at a time in any given day and that's usually all I get um and so was, this took me like a week <laughs> so sad um it's okay it'll get better after school it was done um so I got burnt out so I had to stop that's okay oh so then I pulled out oh and then I went to my I'll just kind of stuff around here. Then I went to my parents' house for the weekend just to get the kids out of the house for a while and away from the TV. Um, and so I took what's in here? I took my Day of the Dead fader piece. This is black and white. It's going to be in color. Have no fear. And I got a little bit of that done. Let's see if I can this in a way that's easier to see. Oh, it's the back. Um, so this was a mania start for me. I started this on May 4th. So, and all I did was this yellow eye. And then at my parents over the weekend, I got all of this outlining done. I think I'm going to outline the whole head in black and then start working on the color. There's a lot of black. On, I mean, there's a ton of black on this piece. So I got a little bit of that done. So again, it's not like a smaller can get done piece, but you know, it's one of the smaller pieces I have. Didn't think I was going to enjoy working on this, but I actually kind of am. So I'm going to keep this kind of handy and 
you know, maybe we'll see. I don't know. I don't want to make any plans. Ah. Okay. And then this last thing I've been working on, I swear, I think this was one of the first things I picked up when I started stitching again last year. I started with that giant retro space poster. I don't know. I haven't picked up stitching in 10 years, but let me start with a 20 page full cover piece. Okay. Then I bought a Hade. Okay. And then I started watching Flosstube and realized, oh wait, I don't have to do giant pieces. I can do small ones. So I picked this one. I think it, I'm going to have this done by Christmas. It'll be so cute. I got a sister piece to it. I'll have them both hanging up together. <laughs> but remember, I just said I found Flosstube. And then all of these whips happened. And this just got put away. So it's not that hard to do. So I just pulled it out and I thought, maybe I can get this finished. So this is some, I'm sorry, random pattern. If I can find where I bought this, I'll link it below. The random pattern I found on Etsy. I mean, you can tell this is old for me because it's on 16 count white Ada. Um, nothing wrong with it. I just don't love stitching on it, but I want to finish this because I like it. It's super retro, right? All it, all, I don't have a, a picture that isn't the pattern. All it is, is Merry Christmas with three of these balls. And this ball is almost done. So since I picked this up, I've only been working on this this week. It's only Wednesday. Um, I have finished the R and the Y, the T-M-A-S, and this ball was only done this middle gray line. So the blue, the red, and everything underneath I've done so far. So it's a relatively quick stitch. Um, I don't know if I'll stay monogamous until it's done, but if I can get this done, it's one less. And then my thought was to, after this, try to finish my fancy outhouse cell that has been sitting in here untouched for a year and a half. That's all I have done on it. I just, I kind of feel like I want to get some of these littler whips out of the way. So there's that one I can work on. Um, my mandala owl. That guy. I mean, really, he shouldn't take too long. And all I have of this guy is that much done. Like, what am I doing, right? Um, so there's been a lot of things going on in my head with this. Like, I stitch these things because I love them, and why do I not have them done? Then I think, who cares if I don't have them done? I'm having a ton of fun stitching what I'm stitching. Um, I go through phases. I just do. Like, sometimes I get super overwhelmed with the amount of work that I have in this pile that I'd like to see done and either on a wall or in somebody's house. Sometimes I'm just like, I'm not going to display them all anyways. Like, I have a wall in my bedroom that I think we're going to do, like, a cross-stitch wall when I get enough pieces and change them out, but there's no rush. So why am I putting all this pressure on myself? So I stopped. I'm going to stitch what I want to stitch when I want to stitch it. And I keep saying that and I keep doing that. Um, but right this minute as of 11.45, 11.47 in this morning on Wednesday, July 18th, I want to get a finish before I start another piece. I'm trying to get this one done. This will probably take me another two to three weeks to finish. Why? Because I can barely have any stitching time. That's okay. That's where my life is at this point. It's okay if I'm not busting through and floss tube is amazing and wonderful. I have to watch myself that I don't get caught up in FOMO or jealousy or like, how can this person make, you know, get all of this stuff stitched? You know, how does she have all this time? Or how does he have all this time? I don't know their life. I don't, I'm just in a different state of life than them. This is a random soapbox I'm on. It's helping me justify my slow stitching, I think. <laughs> um, it's okay. I'm going to get done what I can get done. My class is over in September. My kid will be back in school. And usually by September, um, we're done with all like the half day hot days and, you know, he's home by 12 anyway. So it's like, why'd you even go? Um, so by then he'll be in school full time. 
I'll be back to just doing the work that I'm used to doing and I'll have plenty of stitching time in the afternoon. I'm cool with that. All right. I think that's it. That's all the stuff that I have to share. Oh, I'm lying. Um, I went to Hobby Lobby and, you know, when there's, I think they still are blowing out all of their kits and stuff. I guess, I don't know. I bought this and then I was like, I'm not going to stitch it. And not because I don't like it or because it's dumb or because it's stupid. It's just, I'm not going to stitch it. I've got other things I want to do. Um, it was really inexpensive. So one of you, it's the benefit. So I have this little kit. Love you to the moon and back. Um, I have a little issue with the, they literally call it boy or girl. Because you can do it in blue tones or pink tones. I don't like all that. Um, so I'm going to say, you can stitch this however you want. Comes with the Ada. I'm sure it's Ada. I haven't even opened it, you guys. Uh, yep. 14 count ivory Ada needle easy instructions. can be done as a pillow. You can frame it. Or cut it out in the shape of a star for all I care. Um, do whatever you want with it. It was two fifty. No, it wasn't even two fifty. I think it was like a dollar fifty. But I'm not gonna stitch this. So I want this to go to somebody who will stitch it. It's cute. It could be like a baby shower gift. It can go to your own kids. You can, you know, exnay the threads and stitch it whatever colors you want. It looks like it's gonna be really super fast. Anyways, if you want this, tell me that you would love to stitch the moon. Um, just say, I want to stitch the moon. You guys, if you watch me, you watch Bendy. You know the rules, right? Like, don't say giveaway. Um, you have to say, I want to stitch the moon. Be 18. I will stitch. I will stitch. I will send this anywhere in the world. Um, open internationally. Um, so if you want to stitch the moon, tell me you want to stitch the moon, and I'll send somebody the moon. I will probably not do another video until September, and probably into September. So if you're wanting to stitch the moon and holding up, like, don't expect a response for a very long time. I may do a quick five-minute uh, winner announcement. We'll see. It just depends on how many people enter. Um, not very many people enter usually, which is fine. Um, bigger chances for those who want it. I think that's it. Um, I'm still a needle minder, a little bit of needle minder business. I'm still on Etsy. Um, I'm going to hold out for as long as I can afford it. Um, I have noticed that my fees to payment ratio um, is getting bigger. Um, so my minders have gotten a little bit more expensive. I'm trying not to mess with shipping too much and leave shipping alone, um, but I have to see that increase somewhere. So the minders might start getting a little bit more expensive, but I'm trying to keep them reasonable. Um, I do need to sell through some of the stock before I can get more listings up. So if you go check out the shop, I've listed a ton this month. Um, there's a minder for everybody. Um, I don't have any one specific theme. There's a lot of dark stitching on there right now, but I've got a ton of cool stuff on there. So go check that out. Um, I'll link it below. Um, so I'm going to stay on Etsy for as long as I can. Um, they're starting to pop up with these new subscription packages and, you know, we're supposed to pay more to get more tools, but like, I don't want, I don't ever expect selling needle miners to um, feed my family. So I really just need a place to list them and a place for somebody to buy them. Um, I'm trying not to buy into, into the subscription packages so I don't have to increase prices even more. Um, I think that's all. Um, thank you guys. I really love a little thumbs up or hit subscribe. Um, got a lot of cool stitching coming at you. And when I, you know, it's, it's a slow go, but when I get to 500, I've got a pretty cool prize ready to go. Um, so 
subscribe so you can be eligible. But I think that's it. I don't know when I'm going to get this uploaded and edited. I'm hoping to. I have to leave soon. So um, it may not be today. It may be. I'm probably just going to save this and upload and edit tomorrow or Friday. <laughs> ah! um, but I think that's it. All right, guys. Enjoy what you're stitching. Stitch what you love. Do your thing. That's all you can do.